tell you dozens of first responders remain on this scene, which is still very active on Island View Court here in Bayonne. One person was killed, another seriously injured and in critical condition. So here is what we know about this fire. It started around 2 a.m. Firefighters arriving at the scene found heavy fire coming from a third floor apartment window. They believe it started on the third floor, but it is still too early for them to tell. Three people were pulled from the building, a 70 year old man who was pronounced dead, a second person who is in critical condition and a third who refused medical attention. Now this apartment building has 18 units. Firefighters had to evacuate everyone who lives here as well as the neighboring apartments. 54 units in total were evacuated. The fire chief says there were smoke alarms in the building and to the best of their knowledge, they are presuming that they are working. We spoke to people who had to race out overnight, as well as the mayor who has a message for everyone affected. Well, around 2 30 in the morning, we got a uh, bang on our doors from uh, the police department and the fire department uh, to get out that there was a fire. Um, I live in apartment three, which is straight ahead of us. Apartment two, their roof just went up in flames. I uh, saw, so, you know, through the window, I saw so, uh, actually fire on the roof and uh, it was amazing, so thank God, you know, yeah, we get out. What I will tell them is we got your back. You know, the city will stand behind you. The people of the town, the citizens of Bayonne will all get behind you. Whatever it is you need, we will figure it out and we will work it out. And the Bayonne Fire Chief telling me just seconds ago that that person who was in critical condition has now passed away. We do know that that victim was a woman. So again, now this fire uh, has proven deadly for two individuals, a 70 year old man and a woman. Uh, a third victim again received uh, medical attention on the scene, but did not go to the hospital. No word on when people will be able to get back into their homes. It may be days, but everyone is being helped out by the Office of Emergency Management and the Red Cross. And this fire is, of course, under investigation.